What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to go over the art book for Gotham Knights. Now the early pictures have leaked online and leaked meaning I'm pretty sure they came from like an Amazon preview page. It doesn't seem like an average Joe can just go to Amazon and look at it. I think somebody did some sort of detective work there but there's a couple pictures. I think there's maybe seven, eight in all. We're going to look through all of them and we'll talk about you know what they say. So this will contain spoilers. This comes from the prologue of the game. I believe it's the beginning of the art book, which is also the, the beginning of Gotham Knights, which remember in the 16 minute gameplay that we had, you know, uh, a little while ago, they skipped this. They specifically said, you know, we're skipping the prologue and starting here where you go and investigate onward. First picture we have here is the four knights stumbling upon Batman's, uh, you know, whatever you want to imagine his dead body. Um, in the way that I see it, I see his face in the mask, although I think that could be like an optical illusion and it's just part of the rocks behind. You can see like the rubble that uh, Red Hood is standing on. It could just be that. Not 100% sure because I, I did see people mentioning in the comments like, are they going to go the route of Batman's body or Bruce Wayne's body wasn't found, right? That there was nothing there. So they could go down that route, in which case, again, this is more like an optical illusion. But it does seem like they're going to go to the, you know, destruction site and find Batman's cop right and then they're going to go from there second picture is batgirl at her dad obviously gordon's either a grave site like tombstone slash you know just a memorial that they they placed him i think there's a better picture of this later on but this is uh you know just where it's kind of the full screen um then we have a, a very interesting one and this is where you obviously get the reporter talking about explosion at wayne manor gcpd re reporting uh casualties billionaire bruce wayne dead now again that's leading people to believe that he's he dies as bruce wayne he doesn't die as batman uh so that's an interesting one we'll have to see what actually ends up happening there uh but again with the cowl that kind of makes it a little bit more confusing and then you see everybody at his funeral again there's a better picture that actually has way more people later on but you get you know an image of his funeral so basically what seems to by the way be happening here is that the explosion happens right he's dead the knights get the call they go investigate they go do a funeral for him and then the game starts where we saw the 16 minutes so this is all right these are maybe a couple cut scenes maybe like 10 15 minutes of, of things and then we're going to get what we saw um at the ign first now this one's very interesting so this is basically uh i, I guess kind of like a walkthrough almost of what's going to happen so location gotham city process leads uh, at the belfry or find evidence in gotham city to find penguin crimes patrol the streets until the case file leads have been satisfied to proceed in the story side activities now available as part of the case file leads the player can meet up with two contacts and begin a villain case file speak with lucius fox to the north and montoya to the east see the villain case file section for more information on the villain story arc so this is how you're going to get the side things like mr freeze you know etc etc Return to the Iceberg Lounge and again drop through the skyline to gain access. This time a large inmate has been called in with several brawlers. Attempt to pick off surrounding foes with silent takedowns before everyone converges on the hero. Watch for the red glow that signals an uninterruptible attack. Encounter with a piercing attack or evade the attack altogether. Once the guards are defeated, join the penguin in his office. After he expresses concerns that others are listening, scan the room for hidden devices. You find several on display, cases, bus, flower pot and fireplace disable them all then retrieve the bottle of whiskey from the penguins liquor shelf with the ability to speak freely he directs you to the powers club so he wasn't kidding you know when he's talking about the court of owls you know oh, it's a myth right it's not real and he's like no you know it's pretty real so that's the same scene actually that scene that we see and i believe that's the court of owls trailer that's what it's called uh which i show quite often you know in these videos that is probably very early on in the game the first time i'd imagine that you meet penguin then you have an interesting one so on the left it looks like this is where the explosion happened i guess maybe i'm reading into that and then on the right you get the entire batman's last case you get the map uh, and at the bottom it says batman has sent out a code black message to the four heroes in hopes of them coming together to protect gotham city included in the message is information on batman's final case with mentions of a dr langstrom so that must be why of course uh, they're looking for him in the beginning of the game this points the team towards gotham city university at this point players must choose between one of the knights of the four so again that's what we actually saw the thing on the left and again i think there's been debate 
when do they receive the, the the phone call basically when do they receive the message that batman's dead the first the world premiere trailer at dc fandom made it seem like they receive it after he's dead but it seems like it's also possible that they get it as the explosion is happening or maybe even like seconds or minutes before like they receive it and then there's explosions and they look like at the monitor and stuff so we're not exactly sure them receiving the message versus when batman dies and then we see on the right side of this image the left side's the same as before right side you see a much bigger funeral right now people are kind of pointing out different potential people it's very hard some person said they claim that they see two face like in the back i think by the car is what they're trying to say i can't like I, my eyesight's not good i can't um, i can't pick out um i I'm, i think you can see lucius and, and and montoya but beyond that like i really don't know who a lot of these people um could be i mean they could be somebody mentioned like maybe teen titan members or like justice league members like that's definitely possible and i would that would be kind of a cool little easter egg to see but i don't know if we'll be able to tell from the art book but if you guys can see it definitely you know let me know and then the bottom very much seems like the, the first picture obviously is like the gravestone but the second picture where robin's walking like towards us that very much looks like the first scene the one that we saw in that 16 minute gameplay where they're all spinning around they're all talking to each other and then you pick one that very much seems like that's the exact same scene then we have basically a Nightwing combat thing. So that has in combat, it gives like his uh, ability trees. I'm not gonna read the entire thing out here, but it goes through the Acrobat ability tree, Raptor ability tree, uh, Knighthood begin the pack leader tree with him. And then you see some of the, you know, like flying drones and some of his weapons and stuff. Then we see Barbara slash Batgirl and a couple of her different outfits. So uh, two, I guess is Batgirl and one is Barbara, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then we get a couple more pictures, all, you know, relatively look the same that we've seen before goes over kind of her strategy and, and, and statistics and on the bottom you have a little quote from Jeff Eleanor so not too much for that one so again biggest things that we definitely can tell is that's how the game starts so they get the phone call or get, they get the message and they go they, they either find his dead body or they at the very least find his outfit basically right as Batman and then they go they do a funeral that's probably like a couple days after and then they start looking for Dr. Langstrom because that's what his last mission was and you, you can kind of I guess have pieced that together from the 16 minute gameplay but there you go at the very beginning of the game not too many spoilers right just the, you know the beginning of the game obviously is spoilers but you're gonna learn it like the first couple minutes of the game so it's not that bad let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on and I hope to see you all on the next one